Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. If you guys are new, I would love for you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my favorite outfit combinations for pregnancy. I'm going to share with you guys how I dress my bump. I'm currently 35 weeks with my first baby and I have learned so many tips and tricks throughout all the trimesters that I'm super excited to share with you guys just on staying modest but still keeping your outfits super flattering. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. The first outfit combination is seriously my pregnancy uniform. It is jeans, t-shirt, and a third piece. Your third piece could be anything from a blazer, a trench coat, a duster. In the winter time it could be like a cardigan. All you have to do is literally wear the same base like every single day and then you throw on something different on top and you just have like a completely different look and a completely different outfit so that's why I love this outfit combo one thing that you'll definitely want to invest in during your pregnancy is a pair of maternity jeans but I have a few tips when it comes to choosing maternity jeans one thing that I really like to look for in maternity jeans is where the waistband of the jean and the stretchy panel part are both connected instead of having like a gap in between and that is because when you're wearing Wearing a tighter fitting like maternity t-shirt you really want it to be like a really smooth finish on the waistband and I found that if you have it where it's disconnected and there's like that space it really looks kind of like bumpy and lumpy right there and it doesn't look that flattering so that is definitely like the biggest tip I have when it comes to looking for maternity jeans just to give you guys a little bit better idea of what I'm talking about these are another pair of maternity jeans that I love but the waistband has that space in between the panel right there so it's not as much of a smooth the finish across the tummy if I was to layer a tight top over this so with these jeans I wear more of like loose longer tops so that the waistband isn't really visible so with maternity jeans you don't have to spend a whole ton of money on them but I do think they are an incredible investment for just the entirety of your pregnancy they will take you all the way from first trimester when you just like can't really button your jeans anymore up until the very end and they are just so much more comfortable so so worth it my favorite affordable maternity jeans that I found are from Gap and Old Navy and I tried a bunch of different other brands from like Target and things like that but these were my favorite so I will link some down below. Okay let's talk maternity t-shirts. So these aren't necessarily as essential in the very beginning of your pregnancy but when your bump starts getting bigger and your shirts just start seeming shorter you're definitely going to want to get some maternity t-shirts and I loved these from Target. They're the Ingrid and Isabel line and I love that they have the high neck and I love that they do not have the ruching on the sides. You can still like wear these after pregnancy and it won't look like you're wearing a pregnancy t-shirt. They're just like longer so they like fit your bump. I love the thickness of it because it's really not sheer. I mean for a white shirt that's pretty much as good as you're gonna get. I think they do carry these in the long sleeve as well for winter time but I just got the short sleeve so I wasn't having like so many unnecessary layers underneath my third piece so I would highly recommend these they're so affordable I stocked up on I think like five of them and I'm probably gonna get some more I believe they do come in black as well another way to take this outfit combination to the next level is by having your top and your bottom being the same color so doing monochrome as your base and then adding your third piece on top I've been loving doing white on white for the summer um, but I mean I would probably wear that in the winter time as well just because I love of lighter colors but if black is your thing wearing a black top with like the black jeans will be super sleek and sophisticated and just make everything look super seamless and then adding your third piece on top for a modest layer would just be the best pregnancy uniform the next outfit combination that would honestly be perfect for those in their first trimester when you're still trying to like hide your bump is a mini dress or like a tunic with jeans and I'm also going to share with you guys how you can wear your regular jeans throughout your entire pregnancy pregnancy too so let me share that first so one tip that I've seen online for like wearing your regular jeans throughout pregnancy is tying the little rubber band around the belt loop and then around the button and just like anyways I tried that out and honestly the rubber band was like digging into my skin and that just was not comfortable so I found this handy thing and it just literally changed everything so this is called the Bella band by Ingrid and Isabel they have the regular version on their website and they also have a more affordable option on Target I ordered both just to see the difference this is the one on the Ingrid and Isabel site it's just a little bit thicker and the one on the Target website is basically the exact same thing it's just a thinner material honestly both would work perfectly it comes in different colors I got the white but they also have nude and black I believe even in your first trimester when you don't really have a bump yet 
yet, you still get super bloated and you find that your jeans are just not buttoning up <laughs> anymore. When that happens, basically you can just put on your regular jeans, you just keep them unzipped and unbuttoned, and then you put this over top of the jeans and it keeps everything smooth and in place and keeps your jeans up and it is amazing. So I definitely think this is an essential for everyone. The only thing I will say is with the Bella Band, it doesn't really smooth out your jeans to the point where I could wear a tight fitting shirt over top of it. I still would wear like a tunic or like a longer looser top over top just to hide this waistband. It has this like silicone band so that it like stays up and I also love that just like the bottom of it, if you were to see it, it just looks like the bottom of a cami. So it's really an awesome little invention. So I just wanted to share a couple of my favorite outfits with this like mini dress tunic jeans combo. If you want to highlight the bump a little bit more, I tied the little belt that comes with this top over top of the bump and that will really accentuate it. I also added this belt to this mini dress and it really accentuates the bump and makes it look super flattering. The next outfit combination that is one of my go-tos is a midi dress with a pair of leggings slash jeggings and my favorite jeggings that I have found are from Spanx. They have the most comfortable seamless maternity jeggings. I also love their leggings as well. They're not really for like working out leggings but they're so comfortable to just like wear around the house. Anyways these in particular I have worn to death. They are definitely an investment. They're around like a hundred dollars but I have worn them all the way from first trimester all the way till the end and this stretchy part is so stretchy and supportive and I love that it does have that like smooth seam so it's like the edge of the jean and the panel are like connected so it's super smooth it's just so seamless underneath your midi dresses you can also wear a tight t-shirt over this and it would be super like smooth across the tummy so these are definitely a good investment piece i have a couple of different midi dress outfits to share with you but i love tying the tie for the dress over my bump to make it a little bit more flattering or adding a belt like i said long sleeve midi dresses are such a beautiful, modest outfit idea, but sometimes they're a little bit hard to style, so I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips. I am 5'7 for reference, and personally, I like to find midi dresses that come well below my knee. The longer midi dresses are just gonna look a little bit more flattering, in my opinion. Sometimes you'll find midi dresses that come just right below the knee, and to me, it's just not as flattering. If you're petite, you probably do not have to worry about this because midi dresses will just be a lot longer on you, but just being a little bit on the taller side, I try to find them in a little bit longer length. Then I pair them with the jeggings like I said and for summertime I will do a really nice sandal. During pregnancy it's a lot easier to find the sandal that just slips on because you don't have to have anyone help you put them on. For winter time you can wear your long sleeve midi dress with some comfy leggings and then just some knee high boots and just cover up your leggings and that will be such a beautiful modest pregnancy outfit idea. If you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know that I have been living in in long sleeved maxi dresses during my third trimester because I have found that wearing a maxi dress is just the most comfortable thing ever. You don't have to worry about anything tight around your tummy. I found that the bigger my stomach gets, the more irritated I am by any like waistbands or anything like around my waist. This belt like is pretty loose so it's not really bothering me but anything that comes like super tight over my bump i feel like it just literally restricts my digestion i definitely know the struggle when it comes to finding modest long sleeve maxi dresses i'm always trying to share the ones that i find over on my instagram so if you guys want to follow me on there i'm always trying to share them in my stories and things like that but i wanted to share with you guys some tips on how you can make a maxi dress more modest if it doesn't have sleeves and like layering in a non-tacky way so let me share that so here is an example of a dress that i absolutely fell in love with i love the color. I love the material. I love just like the silhouette of this dress, but obviously it doesn't have any sleeves. So I would need to layer something over this or under this or something to make it modest. Here's some effortless ways to style this dress. The first way to style it is with a long sleeve button down shirt. And I just tie the very last section of it over my bump in a little knot. And it is so flattering. I love that tying it in a knot over your bump really accentuates the bump. Even if you're not pregnant, this would be an amazing hack to 
to like make a maxi dress more modest. Another way to style this would be with a crop top. I think this is absolutely genius. As women who dress modestly, we kind of like overlook crop tops like that would never work for us, but this is such a good way to utilize them and just add like a very effortless layer over your maxi dresses. All of the pieces that I'm sharing are kind of just things that I've had in my closet forever. There's not really any way I can link all exact items, but I will try to link some similar ones down below and on my blog for you guys to look through. Even if you're not pregnant, like I said, I think this would be a great way to add a modest layer. The last tip I want you guys to keep in mind is finding some really cute slide on sandals and flats that you can wear with literally everything. This is why I'm actually really grateful that it's my third trimester in the summer. I was actually really dreading it at first because I was like, what am I going to wear? But I can't imagine having to put on boots and like having to tie up like straps or anything right now. So having shoes that you don't have to have anyone help you put on is definitely an essential. And I've been living in these Hermes dupe slides. I love these so much. I will link them down below. These are some that I just recently got from Zara. They're like a really nice slide on mule and they have a chunky heel so they're still comfy. So yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. Congratulations to anyone who is expecting. I love all of you so, so much and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.